Hello my beautiful beard growing friends. So today we're going to talk about how you can protect your beard while you're sleeping. Stop all of that stuff happening. This video is based on an article on beardgrowingpro.com so go check that out. I'll put a link in the description but on that article I've got tons of information, links to products, other articles that are beneficial for this topic. So it is a great resource and Beard Growing Pro in general is a fantastic place to get all of your beard questions answered. It's got nearly 150 articles and uh, they're all around beard problems and how to solve them easily. All right, go check that out. And now let's have a look at the five ways you can protect your beard while you're sleeping. Okay, the first way to protect your beard while you're sleeping is to not go to bed with wet hair. Now, your hair is incredibly strong. It can hold a lot of weight. It can put up with a lot. It can be twisted, turned, but when it's wet, it really loses strength. And that's because when it's wet, um, the cuticle layers, so like the, the tiles on the outside of the hair open up and it allows moisture in to get into the proteins underneath and the three sort of uh, three level core, so you've got the core, you've got the next bit and you've got the sheath. All of that water goes into the middle bit and essentially makes it much weaker because it disrupts the bonding in there. Um, and so if you are a person who showers before you go to bed, I would recommend thoroughly drying your hair because when you're on your bed, you're twisting and turning and uh, all of the tension that's built up on your pillow can, can really be enough, not only to damage your hair, but break Break it completely. So do not go to bed with wet hair. If you do have a shower late at night, make sure that your hair is completely dry. Use a blow dryer, or use a straightener, and make sure that when you turn the hair dryer on cold and you push it up and sort of pass the hair up underneath your beard, that you're not feeling any evaporation from water. It's not getting cool under there. And uh, then your beard will be much safer for you to sleep, toss and turn, or do any other bed and nighttime activities safely. Okay, the second one is to use a beard wrap. Now, if you have got a very long beard, I think this is a great option. Now, beard wraps are essentially like a bandana for your beard. You put them over your ears or over the top of your head and they just encompass the entire beard, keep it all tucked up. Uh, you can also use it throughout the day, like eating and that sort of stuff. But to be honest with you, like they look a little bit lame when you're wearing them, but I wouldn't hesitate to use one at night while I was sleeping just to protect my beard a little bit. And this is particularly important if you're like a tosser and a turner, if you're someone who sleeps on their front like I do, I sleep on my front and my, ma my face is mashed into my pillow all night. So uh, I should buy one and try one out and see what my beard looks like at the end um, of sleeping, you know, with a beard wrap or a beard bandana, I think they're also called, or a, ben a beard hammock. Um, yeah, see what, see what the effect is. So uh, maybe that's one of my beard experiments that I'll do coming up. But yes, a beard wrap, they may look super lame, but if you're finding that your beard is falling out a lot at night, it could be the one thing that could protect your beard. They do have like a really soft inside bit, which is like satin or silk, and uh, it really helps protect the hair. Also, it means that you can apply beard oil or coconut oil at night and allow it to soak in without it getting up all up on your like pillow and into your sheets and stuff. So it's got multiple uses and it may be the little uncomfortable thing that uh, by uncomfortable means it looks a little lame, but it may be that little thing that just pushes your beard over to the next level. Give it a go. The third thing you can do is train yourself to sleep on your back. Now, if you are a front or side sleeper, your beard is gonna be mashed into your pillow much, much more than if you say sleep on your back or you're, you know, a very light sleeper and you don't toss and turn much at night. So one thing I would recommend, if you wanna train yourself into sleeping, uh, on your back. I've heard of a technique where you take a tennis ball and you essentially use like one of those, um, what is it, like a bandage, 
like a stretchy bandage or some um, some lycra type material and just tie it to the front of your stomach. So that means that if you are lying on your stomach, there's just it's just so uncomfortable that you just turn onto your back. You can also put them on the sides. Um, and the reason I know this is because it's the opposite of if you're a snorer. If you're a snorer, normally you lay on your back with your mouth open, um, but uh, Putting a tennis ball in the small of your back can stop you from some laying on your back. So uh, yes, I've heard that work for snorers. And if you want to make sure your beard uh, doesn't get sort of like all twisted and turned up while you are sleeping by, you know, like all the twisting and torsional strain that can be put on beards while you're um, sleeping at night, it could be the, the only way to really protect your beard if you don't want to try anything else in this list. So maybe training yourself to sleep on your back is the thing, you may end up snoring, replacing one problem with another. Okay, the fourth thing that I've seen really recommended is satin or silk pillowcases or scarves. So what you do is you just replace your pillowcase with a satin or silk pillowcase. And essentially what that does is it stops the hairs from getting caught via friction on the pillowcase. So they just slide over the top nicely. You'll also feel like an Egyptian princess as well, which is always a benefit to this. Um, but including a, uh, a, like yeah, just a simple sheet. You can also use a piece of material like if you don't want to buy a satin sheet, either use a scarf or you can, yeah, just buy a piece of material and wrap your um, your pillow in it. I've also seen that it can be picked up relatively inexpensively. And if you go to a material shop, you can ask for any remnants of satin or silk. And you can generally pick those up a little bit cheaper because people that buy fabric, they buy it in meters. And if they've only got a little bit, they just want it gone. So uh, head to your local fabric store. Maybe you'll pick up a satin or silk pillowcase, which uh, will protect your beard. Yes. And the fifth thing that you can do is use a hair tie. Now, if your beard is long enough to use a hair tie, you may want to bring it all together like here. Like that's probably where you want to tie it, at the front. And what that does is it makes all the hairs here, all the hairs here, and all the hairs on the other side just completely flat, which means that uh, when you're on your side or you're on your front, you're not kind of pushing it up. It's not being moved up and underneath. It's not being twisted or kinked in a way that is unnatural and therefore can increase the amount of breakage, increase the amount of uh, torsion on the root, which could potentially sort of rip it out. Uh, all of those things are really important, but hair tie are inexpensive and uh, it may be the one thing that stops your beard from becoming really damaged if you don't want to wear a beard a wrap or bandana um, or hammock then you can use a hair tie and just tie it up you can even double it over if your beard's sort of wizardry um, and uh, yeah let's let's try that hair ties, simple but effective. All right, so there are all of the ways that you can protect your beard while you are sleeping. Let me know in the comments what you would add. I guess the one thing I would add is just make sure that your beard is well conditioned. You know, you can use beard oil, you can use coconut oil, you can use shea butter throughout the day. And the more sort of hydrated and flexible your beard is without it becoming wet, like we talked about, um, the the sort of more flexibility you will have to be able to put up with the uh, the mashing into your pillowcase and the twists and the turns that it all sort of go through. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the only thing I'll add is make sure that you do use good amounts of sort of conditioning treatments and your beard will survive your sleep much, much better. Let me know what you would add and I shall see you in the next video.